Hey, welcome back to Coin Mojo. Nicodate Part 2 S Minted Dateless Buffalo Nickels. Can an acid treated coin still have value? According to Coin Help You on the internet, he says using an acid restore, coin, date restorer can ruin the value of a coin, but some of the more rare ones can still be, have a 50% to 30% value of its original value. So here I put together from the Red Book and Red Book a chart that shows you 50% of the value of a G4 coin, the lowest uh, that they show in the book, for all of the S-minted uh, Buffalo Nickels up to 1921. Here's a couple uh, snap a snapshot from eBay coins sold 1913 restored dates type two, and these are a snapshot of six uh, coins recently sold that are 1913D type two that have uh, chemical restoration to the dates. From CoinCollecting.com, there's a little list of the 10 most valuable buffalo, buffalo nickels. Sorry about that, tongue twister. I have uh, on this list, that there's four of the top seven are, are S-minted. So in this video, my focus is going to be on S-minted uh, buffalo nickels. This is a picture of the nickel date, and it talks about how you apply one drop to the date area of the coin. And when the date becomes visible, wash the coin and wipe. Here's a little warning on the back of the bottle about the dangers of using this and what, what to do when you get it on your skin. I'm going to demonstrate here uh, how the Nick Day, how I apply it. And uh, I've gotten a little better at it as, as I've gone through. I'm, I'm, I've done 40 or so coins already. I've done the 26, and I, I have um, 20 Ds that I've done already. I still have a, another 40 that, that have mint marks on them. Sometimes the mint marks aren't exactly clear, but they're clearly mint marks. It's just hard to read which one it is, an S or a D. So I had those all set aside. Then I set aside the best 26 of the ones that I knew were S minted, and then I set aside 20 uh, that I knew were demented, and I will produce a demented video with those, and um, and then I've got another forty. So this comes from the the batch of forty that were still uh, untreated, and I wanted to demonstrate how I have learned and the method that I use applying the acid to the coin. Now that did kind of the date did come up quite quickly. And it does look like a 13, but I couldn't be sure when I did it the first time. So I rinsed and wiped, and I did it again. Minute 25 seconds. Okay, I'm going to do a second application, because that does look like a nice Because after wiping, it just didn't look... I wasn't convinced, so I figured I'd apply another time. Now, again, I used the toothpick and spread that acid along the the feature lines on the coin. I do that, in my opinion, I do it because I think it doesn't look as uh, unsightly as just a round blob over the date, right? This way I kind of clean the whole raised surface area where the date is shown on a normal buffalo nickel. It's just my, my thoughts on that, and uh, I actually like the way the coins that I've treated have turned out. And I think that's going to help me sell them on eBay if I get a rare one, which I believe I've got here. This uh, 1913 Type 2 Demented is worth 65 in the blue book and 125 in the red book in G4 condition. So using the 50% of the value method that uh, CoinHelpU talks about, this could be a $32 coin at 50%. And 30% of the value would be a $21 coin. Let's find out. If you go by the blue book price. If you go by the red book price, 50% of 125 is 50. Uh, it'd be 60, 62, 50, something like that. So on the rear, I wasn't 
uh, convinced that it was a D. I wanted to make sure it was a D and not an S. Big difference in the value there. So uh, quickly the D started to pop up right there. I knew right away that that was a D. So I didn't spend a lot of time letting the acid dig in. And notice how I smeared it across the entire sure, lower half of the coin below the mound that the buffalo is standing on because I, as you can see, it doesn't look treated, right? I mean, not straight on, but from the side you can tell the coloration difference. But it doesn't 18, look 18, unsightly. Denver type so, again, my opinion. And uh, I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm sitting here doing it. And yeah, I gosh. like the results of what I did. $65. So, it's a $65 coin. Anyway, I wanted to demonstrate how I applied the uh, Nicodate to these coins. So the following images are of all the S-minted, 26 of them, that I uh, did. I think it's the last 16 because in part one I showed 10 videos. So... Here I'm going to show you the results of the Yikes. the last 26, that or awesome. actually all 26. I think I took a single snapshot of all 26 it. nickels after I restored the dates to the best of my ability. Um, and the images will also show the mint marks of the last 26 first. So here are all 26 coins lined up prior to me applying Nicodate to them. And these next uh, rear are what it appears to me that these are definitely S minted coins because the S's are a little more boxier. The, the upper left corner is, is by like that one. That, that's an S, right? There's an S for sure. Um, I know the pictures are kind of bright. That's an S for sure. So we, we don't, I felt like I didn't need to treat these or nicodate them. So I think that'll maintain some value to the coins even after treating the front, the date on the front side. So those are the last, uh, just a handful of the, the last coins that I treated. Now here are the results of all 26 coins. I'm basically giving you a two-second view of each coin. Um, I had a total of five 1914s based on my estimation or the best of what I can make out from the restored dates. Uh, Ten 1916s. And if you're a Buffalo nickel collector, you know that there's a double date 1916. So that one actually looked like a 13. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to make out like... Uh, double dated 1916 at least none of the ones that i've treated here appear to be obvious uh it's not even obvious that it's a 1916 um the 16s kind of look like 18s but the 18s have a cross through the middle and the eight the eights are kind of like a twist donut twist right a twisted glazed donut um and the sixes are like a snowman right um, yeah, so you can see that 18 right there. It's, it's an X across the middle. Uh, also, I had one 1917 there. We also know that there's an 18 over 17 uh, variety that uh, I don't know if we'd be able to see. These, these last couple were like 1919s, I believe, and none of the 1919s were clear. Uh, this is clearly a 20, and here's a 21. This is another key date, and... Um, it has pretty good value even after being nicodated. Um, there's a couple 23s here. And um, I think even that 21 after uh, being restored, I could probably get uh, 20, 30 bucks on eBay. This is the 1913S, the Lone 13S. And I did not nicodate the S here. But unfortunately, there is a line, a scratch through the S. These are some examples of what they sold on eBay, 89. That the cross through there means that they negotiated a price. 39 was the actual sell price there. 11 was low. Here's an $80 coin. 79, that one looks completely nicodated, the entire coin. 
Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty good numbers. I put together this chart using the blue book and red book. Uh, I'm showing you the, the S minted coins, type one and two, the mintages, G4 value in the blue and the red book, and what they would be worth at 50% of that value. Uh, you'll notice that the 21 is still a $20 coin at half value um, from the G4. And then these are at 25% of the value, or one-third of the G4 value. And so even the 1913S at one-third blue book value is 37, but red book value is 56. So that kind of lends to the uh, the as-sold-on-eBay prices. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to do pretty good with some of these. And... Um, so here's just uh, the reference to the 1913D since I demonstrated it here. Hey, if you like this video and you want to get one of my stickers or if you want to talk about coins, go to my Facebook page, Coin Mojo's Coin Row Hunting, and, uh, you know, or send me a, a, a line if you want to get in on a sticker trade or do some coin trading. Uh, write me at Coin Mojo P.O. Box, Gregory, Michigan. Again, hit those four clicks. Give me a thumbs up, a subscribe if you haven't already done so, and hit that bell for uh, notifications. Thanks again for tuning in to Coin Mojo. Comment and share. Give me some comments, guys. Let me know how I'm doing. Coin Mojo out. Thank you.